Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our snowman head moulds as baby faces. I'm going to use our sugar paste. We have vanilla or marshmallow flavours. If you haven't got this, you can use other sugar pastes, but you would need to add Tylo or CMC to it to firm it up a little. Um, I'm going to put corn flour into the mould and just tap that out so there's not too much. And then I take some paste. This has been coloured with paste colour. So we just need that to get it smooth before it goes into the mould. And then I roughly make the shape of the hat so it fits in easily when I come to press the paste in. So just push it into the corners. To do that you push from side to side with your two fingers and then up into the bobble. Now I make sure I've pressed very firmly, it won't stick but then make sure it's not going over the edge of the face so it will be clear, a clear line when it comes out of the mould. So now we need some either edible glue or water, very, very thinly, and it's important to put the glue a little way up the hat here because if you put it too low down, when you press the white paste in, it, will, it might ooze out and make a bit of a sticky mess and you might have trouble getting your paste out of the mould. So now for the face, I'm going to put some skin coloured sugar paste into the mould instead of, normally we'd put white in for the snowman. So again, just make it nice and smooth underneath. Make sure it's not uh, got any cracks in it. I'm just putting a little dust in a cornflour on there because my hands are quite sticky and warm. So just press that paste in, overlapping the hat onto the brushed glue and push it up, okay, like that. So that's ready to come out now. If it's a little shallow, you can add more paste to the back. If there's too much, push it to one edge, take it off with your thumb or a knife. So now just turn it over and release the paste from the mould. And there you've got your little face. So now he needs a nose adding. So a tiny little touch of glue into the nose and then just take a small ball of paste roll it nice and smooth and pop it into the hole for the nose. That's why there's no nose added to the mould, so you can choose whether you want your baby's nose or your carrot for your snowman. So now just some pink powder and rub it really well into the brush and dust it onto the baby's cheeks. It's better to do it slowly and gradually like this so you can build up your colour rather than adding too much on at once that you can't take off. Now I'm going to paint the eyes and this time I'm going to use some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, into the lid of the powder colour. I'm using this because it paints really well and it dries very quickly. So if you haven't got it, you can use vodka or gin. Water can be used if you don't want to use alcohol, but it just takes longer to dry. So there we've painted in the eyes in black. You could paint them in white first, let them dry and then use your colour over and then the black. But I just like to do them in the, the black. Now because I want to paint some eyelashes, you need to use water this time instead of the alcohol. Because the alcohol, when you've only got a tiny amount on your brush, the alcohol just dries too quickly. So I'm resting the brush against the eye and then just flicking out like that. I'm going sort of sideways to avoid the hat. The brush does rest into the little groove around the eye, so it's a nice guide for you to start off. And then to finish the eyes off, you just paint a tiny dot of white into each eye, in exactly the same place on each eye, and that just finishes him off. Now there's one more thing you can put on, you can give your baby a dummy if you want to. So first of all, I put a tiny amount of glue over the baby's mouth. Then take some paste. So if I just roll a ball, smooth, flatten, and put it over the baby's mouth. Then take a cocktail stick, make a hole in the centre. Now twist that round so you make the hole a little bit bigger. Make sure your hands aren't sticky. That was just a little dust of corn flour. Then just take a small ball of the paste and roll it very thin. I think that's slightly too much. I'll just take some off. Roll it very thin, then bring the two ends together, 
and press gently. You don't need any glue. Then take your cocktail stick again, pick it up on the cocktail stick and rest it on your finger. And I'm just turning the baby's face around and I'm just going to brush that point there, just touch it with the glue brush and then take that down and put it into the centre, into that hole and just press gently and then you've got your dummy with the handle on. So now I'll show you quickly how to use the mould as the snowman head. So there's your finished snowman head and your baby face and they are an ideal size also for cupcake tops for your baby showers and Christmas parties. So here's the baby faces, you've got girls and boys around this cake. Um, I've also used our patchwork squares mould for the side designs here on the top and bottom tiers and our Elizabeth lace around the top to finish it. If you liked this video, with plenty more on our website or on our YouTube channel, our website is www.karendaviscakes.co.uk.